Well, that was a frustrating two months. So for those of you that don't know or weren't aware, I was gone for about two months because my computer decided to commit 2020 on itself and it just didn't work anymore. After all this time, I finally managed to figure out what was wrong with it and now it's running like normal. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, what took so long? I'm going to try to provide the best explanation I can for this because I know not a lot of you are computer wizards, but basically I built this computer about 10 months ago. It's been running fine without any issues up until this point. Nothing has overheated on it, I haven't had any issues running any games, it's been my dream computer for a long time. Basically I was just casually playing a game and my screen went black. I tried restarting the computer but was never able to get the computer to boot up Windows. I was able to get into the BIOS screen, which is that optional screen you can get into before your computer turns on its operating system. So after several attempts, I was not able to get this computer booted up into Windows. I started to worry that a part of my computer might have died, so I began slowly taking parts out and trying replacement parts to see if I can get different results. Now there are seven main components in a computer. My goal was to make sure each part is working properly before I'm drawing to any conclusions. The first part I tested was the RAM. I have two RAM sticks in my computer. I know that a computer is capable of running just a single stick, so I tried booting up the computer with only one stick hooked up into the computer. And no matter what I did, no matter what I tried, I still got the same results. It was not turning on. Then I tried moving on to the graphics card, which is the most expensive part in my computer. I tried taking my card out, I tried running it with another graphics card that my brother had, and still I was not able to get this computer to turn on. I moved on to the power supply. I did the same exact thing I did with my graphics card. I basically took out my power supply, borrowed a power supply, tried seeing if my computer would run with it, and I had no luck. I then moved on to my hard drive. I unplugged my hard drive and plugged in a separate drive that I wasn't using, and still had no results. So at this point, I was running out of options. I only had two potential parts that could have malfunctioned, either the processor or the motherboard. Now the problem is that with these two parts is that I'm not able to actually test to see if they're malfunctioning or not. I don't know anyone else that has compatible parts with my processor or motherboard, so the only thing I was able to do was research online and then point a finger at which part I think is the issue. After going on countless reddit pages posting my story and doing lots of research on separate forum pages, I came to the conclusion that my motherboard was the issue. The reason why I didn't blame the processor was because the processor was still being read by the motherboard and according to some people online, I wouldn't be able to see the BIOS screen if the processor was malfunctioning and also the processor is usually known for lasting longer than all the other computer parts and that is a brand new processor, so I didn't want to blame it. Now the good news is my motherboard was still under warranty and I had the ability to RMA it. For those of you that don't know what an RMA is, basically it's a long process. You have to package your malfunctioning product in a box, let the company know that it's coming, ship it off, wait about a week or so for them to receive it, wait another week for them to make repairs to it and test it out, and then wait another week to get it back. This was a long process, but I was so certain that my motherboard was the issue, so I did it anyway. After almost a month, I finally got my part back and I got a note from the company telling me that they could not detect the issue that I was dealing with. I was confused at first, but I went forward and built my computer back up again. I booted it up and guess what? Nothing changed. I still was not able to get a screen. At this point I was frustrated and guess what? I still didn't believe the processor was the issue because a processor malfunction is just so rare and just so uncommon, I did not think I was that unlucky. So I was so frustrated to the point where I decided to buy another motherboard. I waited a few more days for that to show up and I rebuilt my computer again with the brand new motherboard. I turned it on and guess what? Nothing changed. I still had no picture and at this point I was just upset at myself. After going through over a month of frustration of not getting a picture on my computer, I just decided, okay, it's time to RMA the processor because the processor was also under warranty. I contacted AMD and they asked me several questions and I basically had to show proof that I've tested every single component in my computer 
and everything was just leading up to the processor being the malfunctioning part. They finally gave me the thumbs up and I was able to ship it off to them. And when this happened, a good friend of mine actually was building a computer using the same processor that I was using. He asked if I wanted to use it just to see if my computer would boot up with his processor. I had nothing to lose, so I tried it out. Put the processor in, put the cooler on top, start up the computer, and to my shock, it started loading. I was blown away that my computer was actually loading Windows, and I just couldn't believe that I was one of the very few people out there that had a malfunctioning processor. So after that, I gave the processor back to him, was still in shock, had to wait about two more weeks for AMD to get back to me to finally ship a new processor to me, and after that I finally put it into my computer, started it up, and boom, I finally have a working computer once again after a little over two months. Until the whole thing burst into flames and now I don't have a computer anymore. Just kidding about that last detail at the end there. So I'm officially back to uploading again, and now I'm sure a lot of you want to know what is coming up next. The plan is to get back into the groove of things as soon as possible, and you should start seeing videos of Block Story and Among Us really soon. I still have a list of projects that I made months ago before my computer decided to die on me, and I plan on finally getting those done. So with all that being said, thank you all so much for sticking with me, and I will see you guys in the next video.